Hello, I'm Mercedes from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to demonstrate how to put an image inside of any font using PowerPoint. Now as long as you have the font installed on your system, you'll be able to use it to create a beautiful custom typography. Now I'm going to be using digital paper from the Pretty Webs shop. You can download these for free if you'd like to use them, but this will work with any photo as long as it's big enough to fit the size of lettering that you choose. So if you use a photo that's too small for the lettering uh, size that you've that you've chosen, then what's going to happen is it's going to stretch out and it's going to pixelate and it's not going to look crisp and clean the way you want it to look. So just make sure that the photo that you choose is a good size for the font size that you're going to be using. Now I did a blog post last week for my Valentine's Day resources. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I have up right now. Uh, and I'm going to scroll up, please forgive the scrolling, but this is the, the, um, blog post that I did. It's the Valentine's Day design elements. Um, and if you scroll down to the bottom, I put in some resources for backgrounds in there that I that I think would look perfect in fonts and objects and elements that you can use in your designs uh, but I specifically like these for typography because they're really big high resolution images and they they have this nice texture and pattern to them that is really beautiful in typography. So if you want the resource link for this you can just go over to prettywebs.com the blog section and it's the Valentine's Day design elements post. Now when you first open the program um, this is what you get by default so we're gonna go ahead and um, you can either uh, hold down your your left mouse button and then rubber band select everything and then hit delete on your keyboard uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave my text in the top one so I'm just gonna uh, hover over this bottom section and when I see the cross there I'll click and then just hit delete on the keyboard and that'll get rid of that bottom section for you. Okay so um, I'm going to be using the word love for this demonstration just because this was inspired from, from my Valentine's Day post so we'll use the love um, the word love and then I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to change a few things here. I'm I'm on the home tab and I'm going to change the font that I'm going to use is Broadway. So I use that and I'm going to change it to 250 pixels. So it'll be pretty big. Um, and then I want it to be all uppercase. So there's this um, little drop down here that'll give you either sentence case, all lowercase, all uppercase, capitalize each. Uh, for this example we're going to use all uppercase letters and this is our base that we're going to be using now before I go any further um, if this is something that you're going to be using for a much bigger design then you'll want to have bigger lettering um, the problem is that this default size right here is not going to give you the right dimension that you need so for example let me I'm gonna move this up to 400 pixels just so you can see it see how it kind of cuts off so when you go and try to save this it's gonna save like this and you might like that style but if you wanted the entire word on one line then you're gonna have to resize the canvas and the way you do that is you come over here to the design um, tab and then you'll head all of, all the way over to the end right here go to the slide size uh, drop down menu and then we'll hit custom slide size and then we can uh, change that this will be like 21 inches and then we're gonna ensure the fit if you maximize it the only thing what it's gonna do is just change the font size to something even bigger so we're going to ensure the fit we want it 400 and we want it to be 21 inches we know exactly the size that we want so um, this this is 21 inches right here and if we wanted to make this a little bit bigger we could just to fit this this um, screen here uh, but we know that the size that we want is 21 inches and this is what we're using so 
So from here, we can kind of go up to 450 and see what that looks like and uh, 500. And then that was a little bit too much. So you can kind of work with this a little bit and see what you get, uh, you know, where, where your threshold is to get exactly 21 inches. If, if you want it to be 15 inches, 18 inches, it just depends on what you're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this design here at 250 pixels for this demonstration. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight the letters again. And uh, up here on the tab section, we're gonna go to format, the format tab. It's uh, the one that's highlighted in orange. It has a drawing tool, so click on format and then go to text fill drop down, and then all the way down to picture. So we're filling it with the picture now it's gonna bring up this dialog box and you'll uh, choose from a file. And we're gonna choose one of these. I'm gonna grab this one and insert that. Now, if you look at this, it doesn't look quite right. Um, it is a little bit stretched and that's what happens when, it, when, they, when the system inserts the image into your text, it stretches it to fit. So what we want to do is change that and we'll go ahead and highlight the text again. And if you come over here to the top where it says word art styles, there's a little square with the with a arrow inside of it. You'll go ahead and click that and it's going to bring up the format shape pane right here on the side. Now there are two parts to the format shape pane. This is, you have this first part, which is the shape options. That's going to be the actual uh, box that your typography is sitting in. We don't want to format any of that. Uh, we want to format the text. So we'll click on text options. And right now we're in text effects and where we need to be is right here in the text fill and outline. So, uh, section so once you click on that you're gonna get this whole set of options here we're gonna come down here to tile picture as texture go ahead and hit that okay so that's the way it looked before and then when we uh, tiled it it looks like that now I still I'm still not happy with the way that looks so we can go ahead and offset this or scale it. I'm going to try scaling it. Maybe we'll bring it down um, to 50%. It, it, it looks like this is just a little bit too big for the, the font. So the parts of this um, digital paper that we're using are just too spread apart and you can't see them. So we'll go to 50% and see what happens with that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So it was just a matter of scaling it. Um, Sometimes you'll get, um, like, because this is a pattern, so you'll get a repeating pattern, maybe kind of somewhere in here. And what you can do about that, I'm going to go ahead and select this again, uh, make sure I'm at text options here, and you can offset your picture. Um, so it'll just move the tile around. So if you had um, a repeating like a seam line right here for your where your picture repeated and, and I just made one actually right there so you can kind of see it um, right here where this where this pattern is repeating so what what I would do there is simply offset it just to get rid of that oops wrong direction we're gonna bring that back down to where it was um, and you can kind of move the image around inside there to get a look that you're happy with. Okay, so now that we have this, we have our picture inside of the text. We can also add other decorative elements to this or design elements to this. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to our text options and then come back down to the text outline. And here um, you have three choices. You either have no outline, which is what we have right now, or you can fill it with a solid color or a gradient line. If we fill it with a gradient line, you get a whole bunch of other options here for the text. So if you come down here to gradient stops, so what I 
uh, like to do is I'll come over and grab the eyedropper tool and I'll pick colors from inside of my image or you can you can put custom colors in there if you like I'll go a little bit lighter um, and I'll show you why I'm doing this here in a minute I want something really light okay and you don't have to use four you can you know you can use two or three you can use ten if you want to it just depends on how complicated you want the gradient to be but right now I chose three colors um, and I'm gonna use a, a white in there as well so we'll have four colors uh, in total so the first color I want to use is this one and uh, every single time I chose I use the eyedropper tool it actually saved the color to my recent colors so I didn't have to go in and search for um, an RGB color this uh, you can't use hex codes in here so you'll actually have to type in each one of the RGB uh, codes in there so it's just a lot easier if you already have a swatch or um, if you're using colors from the design that you go ahead and um, use the eyedropper tool select the colors that you want to use and um, you'll have that selection available for you right here. So I'm gonna start with that one. I'll click on the next one. Change the color of that to, to this one. And the next one will be this. Um, I'll move, and you can move these around. I, I might just start with white. So we'll turn that white and then we'll get um, this is a very light gradient okay um, one other thing let me highlight that one more time just so that you can see it on the screen we're gonna change the width of the outline to more like three pixels and hopefully you can see that a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that at all. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the, the gradient that we have going on there. Um, but that's how you do that. Um, you can also use a solid color if you want. If you go back to text options and you want a solid, you want it to be a solid color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, grab the text here and I'm gonna copy it. Okay, so we're gonna move this one up. That's one look. Okay, with this one, change the text size to 250. We'll keep it uh, looking like the other. And I'm gonna highlight the text and with this one it's just as simple as we're gonna go back into the format we're gonna to go to text fill back to the picture I'm gonna grab another example here we'll go ahead and add this one and go back and do the same thing that we did before we'll hit this little um, square with the arrow in there Make sure we're on text options, and then we're gonna tile this to make sure that um, that it's it's covering. And I don't like this. It looks like we have a little seam happening right here. So I'm gonna go back and grab that. And we'll offset it just a little bit to get rid of that. Okay, and I think that looks good. Um, I don't, and then with this one, you can really see the outline of it. And I don't think it looks, I don't think it goes really well with this design. So we're just going to go ahead and remove the outline on that one. That is another, and then let's, tr let's do one here. Let's see. We'll do this one more. Um, and we're going to change this to 250. We'll just go ahead and get rid of this one. 
And with this one, we'll go ahead and add a picture um, in this one, and we're gonna switch the file. Uh, let me look for something in our hugs and kisses. Go ahead and grab this one. And this is a really good example of how those kisses are super stretched inside there and it doesn't look good. So we're going to grab that, go back to the text options, and change that. Now that's really big. So you can see that. And it, it looks okay. It looks um, nice. But I kind of want to see a little bit more of the pattern in there. So I'm going to go back here and change this to even smaller. I'm going to make it 25%, 25%. So now I've got a whole bunch of kisses inside there. And this text looks super ready for Valentine's Day. So now it's just a matter of grabbing the text that you want to use. And you can right click it. Just You'll click on the outside text box. You'll right click it and then hit save as picture. And I've already saved one. You can see there. I hope this demo for designing in PowerPoint was useful for those of you who don't want to use Photoshop and want the flexibility of working on or offline. PowerPoint is an amazing design asset. There's so much you can do with this program. PowerPoint isn't just for slide decks. You can create custom images and even full length videos. We'll be exploring that more in the future. If you're interested in learning more about graphic design tips and tricks outside of Photoshop and Illustrator, please subscribe and don't forget to head over to prettywebs.com for tons of resources and freebies. You can also sign up for the newsletter to get notifications for all the latest resources on the site. Until next time, thanks for watching.